Hi everyone, uh, in today's video, I will explain what is the presentation library of the EGDIS uh, and its importance and how do you go about finding the status of the presentation library in the EGDIS. So please make sure you watch the video till the end because initially I will explain the theory behind the presentation library, what it is. And towards the end, I'll show you the video of how you go into the EGDIS and find out the status of the presentation library. So uh, the presentation model for the EGDIS is actually built from two major parts. One is the presentation library, which is a library of colors, line styles, fill styles, point symbols, and a set of symbology instructions and lookup tables for the translation of the object descriptions into the symbology instructions. It is provided in a machine readable form. The purpose of the format is to handle the initial transfer of a new library edition as well as individual updates to the presentation library. The second major part is a description of a programmable structure which serves as a functional model for the graphic of an EGDIS system and which explains how to use the elements of the presentation library and how to ensure the correct display of data according to the IHO S57 standards. This part is called the display generator concept. If I can explain simply, the elements of a presentation library contain of seven main elements, but I don't want to name all the seven, otherwise it gets boring for you, but mainly it comprises of a library of symbols, line styles and fill styles, and then a set of machine readable diagrams that can be displayed on demand and explain the symbology to the mariners. Then you have the color coding schemes and a set of symbology command words from which machine readable instructions can be assembled, um, so on and so forth. So I don't want to name all the seven, otherwise it will get a bit boring for you guys. You don't want to know the technical aspects of it. So the the presentation library actually uses a color scheme which classifies the colors by their usage. So each color usage is represented by a token that is a five letter code. Each color token corresponds to color definitions in one of a set of color tables for different brightness conditions. Just like you have brightness standards, the chromaticity standards for the navigation lights, you have the same standards for the lights and symbols and chromaticity for the EGDIS presentation library. So the symbols, fill styles and line styles refer to the color tables by using the standardized color tokens as part of the symbol definition. So you can see here that the importance of the presentation library is that it provides the software developer with the information he needs to translate the relatively abstract definition of an S57 object into an effective EGDIS display according to S52. S52 is the one that provides the standards, uh, the IHO standards and S57 is IHO standards as well. So, however, it is not a picture book for EGDIS symbology since the symbology itself is provided in a machine readable form. Instead, it explains how the various parts of the EGDIS presentation library are related to each other and how these parts should be used to achieve an EGDIS presentation and how the symbol library can be transferred to a machine readable form. So the concepts and methods defined by the presentation library to deal with the IHO S57 standards will significantly affect the EGDIS system design and manufacturers are advised to consider how to implement the presentation library at an early stage in their system development. The EGDIS is still at an early stage of development and changes will inevitably be required due to C experience to developments in Mariner's requirements and to technical improvements. Changes may be in data or may affect the developers or the manufacturer's software, uh, which will be avoided whenever possible. However, manufacturers should build into their EGDIS a means of applying such changes once the EGDIS is installed on board the ship. So 
so here you can see how the different colors are assigned to display the different information to the mariners for example the magenta is used for real and artificial aids to navigation uh, recons and traffic routing schemes and blue is for the background area shade used to distinguish the depth zones in the previous slide you saw what is black gray and all those colors are used for and what they symbolize green is used for the radar image and synthetics and for boys and light colors and it keeps on explaining what other colors are used for which is self readable i don't want to read it through but then you have red you have a yellow and you have green as well all right so these are the different colors and they are used for um, depicting different objects and information to the mariners for safe navigation of ships we have orange as well orange is the mariners colors for notes chart work chart corrections etc so now we'll go into the egdis and we'll determine how to find out where the information about the presentation library is given the latest version of the presentation library is presentation library 4 so you should be able to go into the system and make sure that you know to how to find out whether your presentation library is updated and uh, below it will also be the standards for the symbols that is the s52 standards the iho s52 standards uh, that we have mentioned a couple of times in this video so both the information will be given on the same place so let's get into the egdis now and see where it's given so guys you can see here that i have already opened for you uh, the place where you can find the information about the presentation library as well as the s52 symbols uh, both of which are on the same place and if you click display chart you can see this pretty much verifies that uh, this chart is using the s52 symbols but let's now find out how to find this information uh, how to go into the system and find the information about your presentation library so first i'll show you the chart and chart types and i'll show you the databases which are there so these are the two databases which are there in our system there could be more databases in your system we are currently using the professional or the private database which has more charts available at a cheaper cost because we are using it for teaching purpose only ideally on your ship you should be using the database that refers to the s57 iho standards go into charts and then go into manage charts and if you go into manage charts you can see in the settings section of the database that you are using you can see here it says that they are using presentation library 4 as well as the s52 symbols so this confirms that for the databases in use and in this case of course it's the private database but on your ship it would be the s57 database it confirms that we are using the presentation library 4 and the s52 chart symbols as per iso standards